Another quick step-by-step -step Valheim guide on how to gather and craft the black metal weapons, the most powerful weapons and armor category in Valheim. But at the end of the video, I will show you each black metal weapon fully upgraded, their damage values, and I'll show you their special attacks and some tips and tricks on how you can use them, so you know which ones are worth crafting. But currently, excluding the black metal shields, there is no black metal armor in the game. The best armor is actually padded armor, and I've already made a guide on how to get that linked below. Below. So to craft the black metal weapons, we need three ingredients. Firstly, fine wood, and then I'll also show you how to get black metal scrap and turn it into ingots, and how to get flax and turn that into linen. So essentially, we need fine wood, linen, and black metal ingots. All I ask in return is that you guys smash the like button with the might of Odin. Step one, how to get fine wood. So the easiest way to get fine wood is here in the starting area of the meadows biome. Both the white birch trees that look like this, or the huge big unmissable oak trees that look like this, will drop fine wood once you chop them down. But you need a bronze axe or higher to actually cut them. I've already made a guide below on how to get one. Step two, how to get black metal scraps. You're going to need to come here to the plains biome. It looks like this on the map, a sort of beige yellowy color. It's a huge area of rolling hills and grassy plains that you really can't miss. Firstly, to get black metal scrap, you must kill the falling enemies. Each one of them will drop a piece of black metal scrap, and the berserkers and higher level fallings, like the one and two star enemies, will drop multiple pieces. But you really do need to be careful when you're attacking these fallings since they are high level enemies and hit really hard. Early on, you're going to want to focus on killing the smaller falling patrols that have much less enemies to take on at once. I'm using the Draga bow to actually kill them stealthily from a distance. I can easily kite them around so they just can't attack me at all. And I have a guide on where to get this bow linked below in the description because it has inbuilt poison damage and it does physical damage. But alternatively, you can just make sure that you're parrying them using a shield since you do extra damage after a parry attack on a staggered enemy. Also, make sure that you are dodging their speared ranged attacks or parrying them because they really do hurt. You can also find black metal or scrap within the chests inside the falling camps that are scattered around the plains biome. It is possible just to run in there, grab all of the scrap iron out of the chest and run away without killing any fallings. But you will end up with a small army chasing you. Now before I show you how to turn black metal scraps into ingots, is your internet being throttled by your provider, making you lag in games, slowing downloads, or blurring your videos? Today's sponsor is gonna solve your problem and many more. Surfshark is a virtual private network VPN for your phone or any desktop browser, and you can share your account between multiple devices. Surfshark changes your IP while gaming and browsing online to hide your identity and stop people seeing your internet search history and taking your passwords. These days, lots of content is country locked, but Surfshark lets you change your location so you can unlock the whole of the Netflix library that wasn't available in your country, like The Office or Fantastic Beasts. But Surfshark will also encrypt your internet traffic to and from your device so your internet provider doesn't know how much bandwidth you're using and therefore can't limit you. If you get slow internet speed at peak times, slow downloads, lagging games, I highly recommend testing this out. Use my code ESO to get 83% off and your first three months completely for free. In fact, Surfshark even has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk in trying this out right now using my link below. Next, I'm going to be showing you guys step three, how to turn black metal scrap into black metal ingots. First, you need to build an artisan table. To do this, you need 10 wood and two dragon tears, which are dropped from the fourth dragon boss, Moda. I've already done a guide on how to easily kill this boss, link down below in the description if you haven't reached that point in the game yet. The boss drops 10 dragon tears, two of which can be used to craft the artisan table. Getting those dragon tears will also unlock the recipe for crafting what you need. After crafting the artisan table though, you'll be able to then craft and place a blast furnace which is needed to process the black metal ore. To craft it, you need stone, saltling cores, iron, and fine wood. Once crafted, you could add the coal and the black metal scrap into the blast furnace like so, and then it will turn that into the black metal ingots. At this point, 
you'll be able to make black metal ingots really quickly. And considering how many fallings there are in the planes, you won't have an issue getting black metal scrap. Step four, how to get the flax, which you need to make linen. Flax can only be found growing in the plains biome, specifically located in the falling villages. In each falling village, they'll have small plots of farmed land, which will be either barley or flax growing. And you could find between 15 to 20 crops that will give you two flax each when you harvest them. Just click on them to harvest them. The best method is just to store all your valuables in a safe place and then run into the falling camps and grab as much flax as you can and then just run away again. Half the fallings will definitely chase you across the biome, but even if you die, you can retrieve your flax later on. After you have all the flax you need, I highly suggest also watching my guide below on how to make an unlimited flax farm, which can only be grown in the plains biome. And since you'll want a big supply of flax, to make unlimited linen, I'll link that video down below. Step five, how to turn flax into linen. Now earlier, since you already made an artisan table, you can now craft yourself a spinning wheel, which you'll need to process all the flax into linen thread. To craft this, you'll need 20 fine wood, 10 iron nails, and five leather scraps. Once crafted, you can deposit all of your flax into it at once. And for each piece of flax that you put in it, you'll get one linen thread in return. And now we have everything we need to craft the best weapons and also armor in Valheim, since padded armor also requires linen as well. So let's start out by crafting the black metal sword, which starts out with 95 slash damage, but once fully upgraded, this will do 113 slash damage, which again is the highest slash damage you can get in the game of any other weapon, alongside the black metal axe. The black metal sword comes out on top though because it has a unique attack that you can trigger with the middle mouse button, which does big damage. It is worth noting though that the silver sword, once fully upgraded, is actually better versus undead, doing 93 slash damage and 45 spirit damage. However, in comparison, it takes a ton of silver to fully upgrade the silver sword compared to any black metal weapon, which requires literally half the amount of materials to get to the maximum upgrade. Next though, we have the black metal axe, which is slower than the sword, but also has the same slash damage. And obviously, since it's an axe, you can use it to cut down any tree in the game, but it does not have a special attack move but it's still great as a utility weapon. Thirdly, we have the black metal knife or dagger. This is the best sneak damage weapon in the entire game, capable of dealing over 360 damage with a backstab. The damage actually scales much higher based on your sneak skill, your dagger skill. Also, once you're in combat, it has an extremely fast attack speed, the fastest in the game, and obviously the special attack move that lets you leap at an enemy, which can also be used from sneak. So you can actually like jump on them like an assassin, which is just so satisfying. It starts out with a base damage of 18 pierce and 18 slash damage. Once fully upgraded, it will do 21 piercing and slash damage. And again, all these damage values scale off your weapon skills as well. The dagger also has a parry force of 25, which is really nice. Fourthly, we have the black metal pole arm, which is kind of like a spear, but it also has a unique special attack where you'll spin around on the spot, hitting everything around you and shouting Damasia at people while knocking them back. It has a very long reach, just like the other spear weapons, but it actually counts as a pole arm, which is a separate skill compared to spears. It starts out at 105 piercing damage, but it can be upgraded to 123 damage. I'm personally not a huge fan of pole arms, preferring blunt or even sword weapons over them, but the knockback effect on the spinning attack does actually interrupt enemies really easily, so it can be extremely effective on larger foes. I'm pretty sure it actually has the fastest interrupts in the entire game. And lastly, we have the Black Metal Shield and Black Metal Tower Shield. Now, the Black Metal Shield is the favorite because you can actually parry with it, but most importantly, it starts off with a block power of 90, a parry force of 50, and a parry bonus of 1.5 times compared to the black metal tower shield which has a block power of 105 but a movement speed of minus 20% 
compared to the minus 5% of the normal black metal shield. It also requires a chain to actually craft, which you get from the swamp biome. I'll leave a guide on how to get that down below. Once fully upgraded, the black metal shield has a block power of 100. But honestly, I'm super interested to hear what your favorite weapon is in the comment section. Do you have any gameplay tips that I missed? Please do share them down below to help everyone out. And if you found this video helpful, drop a like as well. The best way to support me is to drop a like and obviously you can subscribe if you want future guides. And don't forget to check out Surfshark linked below. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.